Leo, welcome to your love mid-month reading for 2018. And this is for August. I hope you are enjoying your birthday. So let's see what the messages have to say for you, Leo. nothing flies out, then we will go ahead and cut. So, there we go. Okay. August. Oh, okay. Well, that flew out. And I believe it's the Hierophant. So, we're going to start right here. The Hierophant is out, so Taurus may be of some significance. Also, this often in my readings does represent, well, unions. It can definitely represent also marriage for me. So um, let's see what other cards come with it. We have the Page of Pentacles. Oh, the Seven of Swords. And that's in the challenge position. The Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Wands. And that can represent you, but does not have to be. I'm being led to look at what's underneath. You know, I think I did a couple videos where I just wasn't led to, but I am here. The Moon. Okay, so the signs that are standing out for me besides your sign, Leo, is Aquarius, Sagittarius, Taurus, also Pisces, and Cancer. Um, and then we've got on top of that Capricorn and Virgo that may be of significance. Let me uh, adjust this light here. So I feel like for some of you, this is regarding a current relationship that is going on. And I feel like there's been some trepidation. It's really stirred up some possibly insecurities or anxiety, may have sleepless nights. I would also, I'm being led to say, pay attention to your dreams because there may be messages that are coming forward in the dream cycle. The other thing is um, deciding on what to do regarding this union. Um, I feel like there, especially with the Seven of Swords here and the Moon, there's things possibly that may be a bit secretive about this union. Um, I also am getting the message that either somebody is pregnant and they don't know it, or they are keeping it from somebody. That's something that's coming in here. The other thing is I definitely see somebody doing some writing. Somebody may be writing a romance novel or something about a love relationship or just keeping a diary or journaling to try and sort things through. I also get documentation. So this marriage situation may be somewhat over because I'm picking up some legalities. Like somebody is documenting things that are going on or trying to, um, I don't know, I'm getting like follow the money trail. So uh, could also be that somebody is hiding money in a love relationship. It might be for positive, but um, with some of these cards, I feel like it's you know, it could be that money is, somebody's wondering where the money is going or that you are contributing quite a bit of money and um, or energy. It's another way the money is coming across as energy into a relationship. And you're just not getting a lot back from the partner. Now, I think for some of you that are single, you may be choosing to be single because there is a situation... You may have been married once before, 
once bitten, twice shy, there's a situation that possibly uh, you're picking the same type of people over and over again. That's often with Wheel of Fortune, which um, when it comes up in my readings is the past. There's a need to let go of the past or learn from the past so that you aren't kind of shut down in when it comes to love and or relationships and or the possibility of new people coming in because it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. But for some of you, I feel like this person may have been in the past and this is you. And it just didn't take off the way that you thought. Others, I feel like, again, that there could be children involved. And um, that's a, one of the reasons why somebody is just trying really hard to make things work. But I get wandering eye. Like, uh, there can be somebody that does have a wandering eye. Or it doesn't mean that they've acted upon that. But their full focus or attention isn't on this union, is what I'm getting. Like, history tends to repeat itself. So there's some karmic lessons also, I feel, that are being learned here. And again, your past is coming back and or patterns of either the way that you've picked love relationships or somebody from the past could even be, again, this has been a theme that's been coming up. There's the possibility of something unfinished from your past. And you may have broken it off, like it's over, but you are you haven't let it go. And that's why you're upside down here. That's kind of why this energy is stuck. Um, or not moving. Uh, another way I read this is that you may be, and if it's not you, it could be your partner if you um, have one, where there's a lot of hastiness or restlessness when it comes to love. There isn't a lot of getting to know somebody. You know, you move too quickly. Or there's a lot of high expectations involved here. So, but just make sure that you let go of anything from your past that you are hanging on to. I wanted to add up these numbers here if I can really quick. So that's 4, uh, 89, plus 4. Is 13, which then becomes a four again. And the four speaks to the home. Um, hopefully I added this correctly. It speaks to structure, um, stability, family, and, um, you know, this being in my challenge position, the truth will set you th free. And I feel like there's something that you will be discovering or learning or there's something that you need to see more clearly when it comes to your love relationship. And if you keep on ignoring what is going on or if there's lack of communication, that's going to keep happening. So... Listen to your intuition. That's going to be very strong for you. So these are some messages that are coming through. Remember, if you would like a private reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. Take good care, and I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye.